If we know that f and g are differentiable functions, then what is true is that the derivative of the sum of those functions is equal to the sum of the derivatives. So that would mean that the derivative of f plus g is equal to the derivative of f plus the derivative of g. Likewise, since the difference is really just a special case of the sum, the derivative of the difference of two functions equals the difference of the derivatives. So the derivative of f minus g equals the derivative of f minus the derivative of g. Now let's look at some examples and see why that is useful to us. Well, we know from previous videos that if f of x equals 2, then the derivative of t, um, f is equal to 0, because the derivative of a constant function is 0. If f of x equals, and let's just for kicks write g of x equals x squared, then we know the derivative of g is 2x. That's our power rule. Well, what if I want to take the derivative of x squared plus 2. So this is an, a new function which actually is obtained from adding these two functions. Well what the what the uh, product, I'm sorry, the sum rule tells me is that I can take the derivative of each term. So the derivative of x squared plus the derivative of 2. So we know from above this one is 2x and this one is 0. Let's look at another example. Let's say I want to take the derivative of 3x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 3. Well, what the pow uh, sum and difference rule tells me is that I can take the derivative of each term. Now, I can write it out by distributing the derivative to each term and then evaluating, but really what I'm going to do is just take the derivative of each one. So the derivative of 3x cubed is 3 times 3x squared minus 2x plus 2 minus 0. And to clean that up a little bit, it's 9x squared minus 2x plus 2. So that's how we take the derivative of sums and differences of functions. Now, if that's if you're comfortable with that and you're ready to go on and practice some problems, then please do so. What I'm going to do for the remainder of this video is to algebraically prove the sum rule, which also applies to the difference rule. And so if that's not of interest to you, then you can exit the video. But here we go. Proof of the sum rule. Okay, and we're going to do this as we've uh, developed our previous rules, and that's with the formal definition of the derivative. This time I'm going to use um, the h definition. So if f of x is my function, which is equal to little f of x plus little g of x, then the derivative of f of x, which really equals the derivative of little f of x plus g of x, is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 uh, big F of X plus H minus uh, big F of X all over H. And so in terms of my little f and G, this limit is equal to little f of X plus H plus G of X plus H. Let's move this over so we can see it all. Minus, be careful and put this in parentheses, f of x plus g of x all over little h. Alright, let's work with this and see if we can manipulate it in such a way that we discover the results that we want. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute that negative and then I'm going to group my f terms and my g terms. So this is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x Right, so I distribute that negative and I group the f's together, plus g of x plus h, and if I distribute that negative, minus g of x, and all of this is over h. 
Now, if I take this fraction and split it into two, I get the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h plus g of x plus h minus g of x all over h. Now, if I remember my rules for limits, the limit of a sum, if those limits exist, and I know this limit exists, and I know that limit exists, because from the beginning I stated that f and g were differentiable, then I can split this limit up. So this is actually equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h plus the limit as h goes to 0 of g of x plus h minus g of x over h. And if you recognize this derivative, that really is, I'm sorry, if you recognize this uh, expression right here, it's the derivative of f. And you recognize this expression, it's the derivative of g. And so if you remember, what we wanted to show was the derivative of the sum of two functions equals the sum of the derivatives. Now the proof for the difference is very similar, so I'm not going to include it here.